Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video, I want to discuss the eye lock. I know I've spoken about the eye lock in the past, but in this video, I want to show you guys how to move your eye lock licenses and how to transfer your eye lock licenses to other accounts. Now, if you're not familiar with an eye lock, an eye lock is a dongle. Basically, it stores all of your authorizations. For example, if you buy Pro Tools 9, it requires for you to use an eye lock. If you don't have an eye lock, Pro Tools won't run. This is a new way of companies protecting their software. Although the iLock has been around for a while and more and more manufacturers are going towards the iLock and you still have some manufacturers out there that don't use the iLock at all. I bought some plugins where I physically have to type the authorization code. In the iLock, you go to your iLock account and you download the license. You never get to see it. It's just the license that goes right into the iLock. You download it. And then when you launch the application, it detects if the license in the dongle or not. But anyway, let's go to my iLock account. So right here, I'm in my iLock account. And as you can see, I have two iLocks at this moment connected to my computer. As you can see, one is, has 23 licenses. The other one has 10. Let's go to the one that has 10, which is my second iLock. And over here, as you can see, I have some full licenses and some trial licenses. And that's what I really wanted to talk about, the trial licenses. Here's the thing with these trials. Once they expired, you can't remove them. There's no option here to get rid of them. But they do that for a reason. If you were able to remove them, then you could go apply for another demo and then start the 14 day or the seven day trial again. And you never buy the full software. So that's why they keep it there. But I want to show you how to organize your account. If you're done with the trial versions and you're tired of everything being a mess in your iLock account, you're going to need two iLocks. And this is exactly what you need to do. Once you hook up the other iLock, you want to transfer those trials to the other iLock. Think about this. You're going to continue to demo. You're going to continue to buy plugins. Eventually, your iLock does run out of space. Although the new one holds 500 licenses and more, we really don't know the exact amount, but it's always good to have a second one. So by having two, you could completely put all the trials into one, and then you can have your other iLock with all your um, full licenses. So what you want to do, you want to go to move licenses and over here, you want to select the iLock. So I want to select two. There are some trials in there that I want to move out of two. So over here, you see all the licenses and let's get rid of this, this. And this. OK, so I selected all the four plugins that I don't need. And now I want to move them to my other iLock. And over here automatically does it for you. It selected Ray G. That's my first iLock. And all I have to do now, click move. It might take a while depending on the site. There we go. All right, so there you go. I had to cut because it was taking a little long. So all the license were successfully moved from iLock 2 to iLock 1. Okay, and let's confirm that. Let's go to iLock 2 and check it out. There's only one trial left, but as you can see, it's not going to expire anytime soon. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, what happens if your iLock breaks? What happens if somebody steals your iLock? You know, you could be in a recording studio and you could go out for a break. And when you come back, guess what? Somebody took your iLock. What can you do? Luckily, they have insurance for your iLock. And over here, you see buy zero downtime. Click that. And this is pretty cool. Like I said, it's basically insurance for your iLock. And this is how it works. If something happens and you already purchased this, all you have to do is get a new iLock. They will deposit a 14 day trial to your new iLock and you're able to continue until you resolve the issue. If somebody stole it, I guess after uh, you call them or do whatever you have to do, I've never been through this uh, process before. I guess when they investigate, they'll finally send you the full versions of the licenses that you previously owned and they'll put it on the new uh, iLock which is pretty cool. So if you have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of licenses on your iLock for $30 a year, and it's not a lot of money to put uh, coverage on your iLock. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is transferring a license to another account. Let's say you want to sell a license for whatever reason, you no longer use the plugin or the DAW. So here's what you have to do. You have to go to transfer licenses and check it out. It's not a free service. It's $25 per license. You ever been to eBay? and you see somebody selling an RTAS or a TDM license and the shipping is $25, they actually charge you to transfer one license from one account to another. So there's your shipping fee, it's 25 bucks. And I'm not gonna do this here because I, 
don't have any other plugins to sell. But let's say I wanted to sell my Pro Tools 9 license. Over here, you will put the ID of the person's iLock account. And please make sure you put the proper name. If you misspell the name or if the individual gives you an incorrect user's name, the license will be lost. From what I've read over at the DUC, it's happened to a couple of people. So if you're going to sell licenses on eBay or anywhere, make sure you make that very clear. If the wrong information is given, you're going to lose the license and you don't want that. But anyway, guys, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If I miss anything, just post in the bottom, PM me, give me a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.